Neurofibromatosis is three distinct disorders, NF1, NF2, and schwannomatosis. NF1 can cause tumors to grow anywhere in the nervous system, as well as bone abnormalities and learning disabilities. NF2 typically causes tumors to grow in the brain, particularly on the hearing nerves, and can ultimately lead to deafness. Schwannomatosis is not so well understood. Um, it causes peripheral tumors which cause very severe pain that's unmanageable. Overall, NF is largely a disorder of benign tumors. However, it can be malignant. When it's malignant, it's usually fatal. And even the benign tumors can cause chronic health problems which are potentially life-threatening. First and foremost, we are a research organization. We fund research, of which we are the largest non-government funder of NF research in the world, but we also promote research by others, whether that's through our advocacy program, we lobby the government to direct more money in NF research, and through working with other private foundations and medical centers to perform NF research, and now really working with pharmaceutical companies to get them to work on therapeutics for NF. I've been involved in NF research for about 25 years, and have gotten to watch it move from a point where we really just had a, a basic description of the condition to the point now where we more or less understand the activity of the NF gene in the cell and are beginning to use that information to develop new treatments. So I really believe that we're at a point now where we can look forward to effective treatments for NF1, NF2, and schwannomatosis in the reasonably near future. I think Children's Tumor Foundation really is at the point now where we've got this huge body of information and we really can move forward in earnest with a significant amount of preclinical drug screening, as it's called, drug screening in mice, and then move into clinical trials. So we're really at the most important juncture. And our cornerstone program has been Young Investigator Awards. Well, I think the Young Investigator Award is a really unique opportunity, not only to build interest in the field of neurofibromatosis, but also to give a young researchers, such as myself, who are really in a transition point in terms of their own careers, to allow them some seed money to move forward and hopefully move towards their own independence in terms of investigation. We looked at what we call the landscape of NF research and we analyzed how money had been spent in the last 10 years. And what we learned was that there was a real gap in preclinical drug screening, in testing drugs in cells, testing drugs in mice, getting them ready for clinical trials. So what we did was start with Drug Discovery Initiative. And this is really a fabulous program that's picked up very, very well since it's launched. We give researchers small amounts of funding to basically go out and test a theory, to test an idea, to test a drug that they think may work in a particular tumor or particular aspect of NF. The Drug Discovery Initiative is, is I see it, the most important thing because the future has to be finding a way of stopping these tumors growing. We can do surgery, we can take these tumors out, but we know that however good the surgeons are, that unfortunately for many people, the disease will eventually get them. And it's hugely important we find a drug treatment that will work for all types of NF. Part of our drug discovery initiative is the Drug Discovery Initiative Toolbox. It's an online listing that we've created and we ask scientists and physicians to donate to this list tools that they might have that are useful in research. Mouse models, cell lines, drugs. We're getting the pharmaceutical companies interested now and we're really trying to build a bridge between the researchers and the clinicians and also with the pharmaceutical companies. The NF Clinic Network was established because there were no standard guidelines for NF care in the United States. So if you walk into an NF clinic, you may or may not get the type of care that you should get. So our clinical care advisory board basically drafted principles of operation, what an NF clinic should offer. You should be able to walk into an NF clinic and receive the appropriate referrals according to your case of NF. What we're aiming for is to create a solid source of information that patients can go to to find the specialist care that they need. So there's a couple of things that the network then provides and this is what drives me at this point is really bringing these clinics on board, communicating with each other, being able to implement clinical trials, communicate their successes and actually their failures so that it's not repeated. 
one of the most important things that we do is our annual sponsorship of the NF Conference, convening a worldwide meeting of the preeminent NF researchers and clinicians. Uh, this last year we had over 200 from 11 different countries, and the importance of this is the sense of collaboration that it fosters among the research community. Getting them working together, getting them to share their unpublished data is incredibly important to accelerating NF research. The Children's Tumor Foundation NF Conference, in my mind, is, is really the lightning rod for discussions. We live in two different worlds. Clinicians take care of patients, basic scientists study really uh, fundamental cellular and biochemical processes. And there needs to be uh, communication in order for us to move forward. And this is one of the very few and unique for, for those kind of interactions. This conference is hugely important in being able to bring people together. Without this sort of a conference, we really wouldn't get as far as we, as we are now. In addition to the public awareness campaigns and the medical research programs that we sponsor, one of the greatest things we do without question is our NF Summer Camp. Each year for about two weeks, we bring kids from all over America and we invite them uh, to go to Utah to a summer camp program that we sponsor. These kids, believe it or not, for the first time in their lives, encounter other children that have neurofibromatosis. It is truly a life-changing experience and is something that these children will never forget. We're proud to offer that camp experience to these kids, and we are proud to enhance those relationships with our Youth Connect program. Youth Connect, you see, is where NF kids can talk to each other to share their fears, their concerns, their laughter, their successes, and their just kids being kids, so that they know that they're not alone. They have one another, and they have the Children's Tumor Foundation behind them. Life is full of possibilities for a kid with NF. What kinds of possibilities are up to you?